Okay, hi everyone. Um, this is a video to go over lesson 3.4, which is the chain rule. Um, this is a really, really important uh, rule for calculating derivatives, um, and we will be using it all the time um, after today. So, um, this is a rule that helps us calculate derivatives um, that are sort of a combination of functions. We talked about combining functions in our review unit in unit one, lesson five. Um, so for example, let me just remind you, um, com like a combination of functions could look like this. So here's our f of x. Um, it's x cubed minus five all to the power of seven. So I kind of have two functions being combined here. I've got the x cubed minus five, um, and then that is all to the power of seven. So you sort of have this inner function and then the something's being done to that function. So in this case, we're taking the power of seven. Um, we so far, we don't have a rule for this. So if um, up until this point, if you wanted to take the derivative of this, you would have to expand that into like, I don't even know how many terms that would be a huge expansion um, and then do each term separately. But this rule is going to allow us to do the derivative of this uh, in about 30 seconds. OK, so here's the rule. I have three different um, sort of things here to show you, three different images to show you the rule. Um, so let's say you want to find the derivative of one of these functions. My inner function I'll use yellow for today. Um, and then the outer function I'll use blue. OK, so what you do is you take the derivative of the outer function only. So an example that in our example that would be dealing with the power of seven. Um, you leave the inner function inside while you do that. And then you multiply by the derivative of the inner function. And that's it. OK, so um, some people like to think or another way you can so a way you can remember it is d outer times dinner. Um, which is shown in this diagram here. Some people like to think of it as like, OK, these com combination of functions are kind of like um, a mom with a ba baby in her stomach. So like the mom is the outer function and then the baby is the inner function. So you differentiate the mom first and then you differentiate the baby inside. OK, so whatever way works for you to remember it, you can. OK, so let's do that actual example that I have above. So x cubed minus 5 to the power of 7. So yellow is going to be my baby function or inner function, and blue will be my outer function or mom function. OK, so the chain rule says take the derivative of the outer function first. So we have a power of 7, so we're going to use the power rule. So the 7 will come down in front, and we reduce the power by 1. And instead of writing x in there, we're just going to keep the inner function inside. OK, so that's the derivative of the outer function. Notice we left the inner function in there. Now we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. OK, so that would be uh, 3x squared plus 0, or just 3x squared. OK, um, you can leave it like this. It, it doesn't look that clean, so I'll combine the terms together. Um, so 7 times 3 is 21. And we have x squared, so I'll just write all the single terms out front and then x cubed minus 5 to the power of 6. That's likely how you'll see it written in the answer key. OK, so that's it. So derivative of the outer times the derivative of the inner. Let's look at the next function. This one looks a little trickier. So we've got e to the power of, and normally it's just e to the x, but in this case, inside where that x normally is, we have x squared. So that's actually our baby function or our inner function. And the outer thing, the thing that's happening to that x squared is e to the power of, OK? So same rule, we're going to do the outer function first. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, except instead of writing x, I'm going to keep this x squared. OK, so that's the derivative of the outer. It actually doesn't change because remember e to the x is that special is that special derivative and then times the derivative of the inner so x squared has a derivative of 2x and just uh 
typically you write um, the two X in front. You don't have to, but that's how it's going to be written in the answer key. OK, so that's it. The next one's a triple layer. So um, the chain rule doesn't just work for uh, a single um, composition. You can also have a function of a function of a function. OK, so I'm going to use three colors for this one. So it's like mom has a baby and then the baby has a baby. <laughs> Uh, so this is my inner function, 3x minus 7. And then I have one outer function, which is to the power of 5. And then the sine x is the outer outer function. Okay, so we do the derivative in the exact same way. We just start from the outside. Okay, so we're going to do the green first. So the derivative of sine x is cos x. Except instead of writing just cos x, I just leave everything inside the way it is. Okay, so that's the first layer. The derivative of the blue now comes next. So the five, it's a power, so we use the power rule. Five comes down, we reduce the power by one, and we just leave the three x minus seven in there as it is. And now we're gonna do yellow. Okay, so the derivative of 3x minus 7 is just 3. Okay, we're going to clean this up a little bit. So notice I did green, then blue, then yellow. So it goes one at a time from outside to in. I'll clean it up a little bit, multiply the constants together. So 5 times 3 is 15. Typically, you'll write the polynomials first. That's just how it's going to show up in the answer key. It's not wrong to write the cos first. It's just... Um, traditionally, this is how the order you write things in. Minus 7, power 5. So that's your derivative there. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the one of the harder examples because it's got the three layers. All right. So um, if you need more examples, just Google chain rule Khan Academy or just Google chain rule and uh, or YouTube chain rule. Um, there are tons and tons of videos because it's such an important rule. Um, so lots and lots of help on the Internet if you need some more examples. Um, all right. That is it. I'll end the recording.